In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Queen of Martyrs, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today, with the Franciscan Order, we celebrate the proto-martyrs of the Franciscan Order, St. Berard and four companion brothers who were sent by St. Francis to preach to the Saracens, that is, to the Muslims, Mohammedans. St. Francis went to the east to Egypt to try to convert the Sultan and sent uh, six brothers to the west. Spain was then occupied by the Muslims and he sent them there first to preach and try to convert this, the unfaithful or the unbelievers. Along the way, one of the companions, actually the leader of the group, fell sick and so the group was delayed, and uh, Friar Vitalis, the leader of this group, seeing that he wasn't getting any better, decided not to hold up the mission, and so ordered them to go onward with uh, Saint Berard, with Ber Friar Berard as their leader. They went, and first in Spain at Seville, preached, and the king, upon hearing. Uh, their preaching was enraged and was prepared to cut off his, their heads. And uh, according to one biographer, it was the king's son who uh, appeased the anger of the king and suggested to him that he let them go or send them on to Morocco. And so Berard and companions were pleased and they went on to Morocco and there they met with similar anger, not just on one occasion, but on uh, numerous occasions. They went first to the mosque to preach. They weren't allowed to enter. They were beaten and repelled, uh, kicked out of the city. They came back a second and a third time. Uh, in the interim, out in the desert, they came upon, where actually the army of uh, the king came upon them in the desert and the, arm, the army was uh, near death because they could not find water anywhere. And St. Berard, then like, Saint, like Moses, uh, took his staff and hit the sand and up came a spring. Uh, despite this miracle, the Saracens were not converted. And Berard and companions then were taken to the king who uh, ordered them to be tortured. First they were imprisoned, nearly starved, or actually they were not given food or water for 20 days. Uh, and then they were brought forth again, none the less fervent in their faith or in their firm resolve to preach Christ to these people hoping to gain their conversion and salvation. Uh, they were unsuccessful in converting the king and were cruelly tortured. For days, uh, the account given in the Chronicle of the Ministers General talks of their being beaten uh, to the point where their, almost, uh, their bones were almost exposed. They had boiling oil and vinegar poured over their wounds. They were uh, thrown on broken pottery and uh, rolled around, cut up. None of this deterred them, however. Finally, uh, just before they were to be killed, the king brought in women and tried to entice them with women, promising them that if they would just uh, renounce their faith and embrace Islam, these women would be theirs with many riches and that they would be uh, made celebrities within his realm. 
they stated that they weren't interested in any of that, that they only cared to preach Christ. And so the king himself slew the men, fracturing their skulls with his scimitar and then cutting off their heads. And so thus the Franciscan order has uh, these, this glorious beginning of its witness to martyrdom even, to, to death, to preach Christ. We marvel at the courage of such men who knowingly go to face death and given opportunities to flee, do not, given opportunities to save their lives, choose rather to follow Christ to the cross and give up their lives in order to be faithful to the truth of salvation, which is only in Jesus Christ. We all are called, brothers and sisters, to martyrdom. Martyrdom, in its basic meaning, means witness. It doesn't necessarily mean dying a cruel death for the faith, although to be faithful to the truth and give that witness, sometimes the Lord asks of us even to accept death, as he himself did. We're all called to holiness. Pope St. John Paul II uh, preached often on this, the universal vocation. And holiness is nothing other than the imitation of Christ, who is the king of martyrs. We also hear in the common of pastors in the breviary the following reading from Hebrews. Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Consider how their lives ended and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. We may think that in the 21st century, things are different than they were in the past. However, uh, even today, that's becoming less and less of a credible proposition as we see our brothers and sisters being persecuted and killed for the faith in the Middle East and other parts of the world. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And our Lord was the first to give up his life for us. And his motive was supernatural love, that is, charity. And it's only that kind of supernatural love that will give us the strength, if called upon, to bear witness even to death. St. John tells us in his first letter, in this is love perfected with us, that we may have confidence for the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. For fear has to do with punishment, and he who fears is not perfected in love. the fear of what we might have to suffer at the hands of a cruel uh, persecutor could impede us from ever stepping forward, giving faithful witness, unless we have that love that Christ had for us and for all souls. It's the same love that motivated St. Berard and his companions to go to a people known to be hostile, and to attempt nonetheless to give them the gift of eternal life, which we get only through Christ. That takes great love, first of all, for Jesus, who gave us his love first and laid down his life for us. But then it also takes a love of neighbor to the extent that we're willing to even uh, love them more than we love ourselves. 
or as we love ourselves, knowing that Jesus would do for us what he's asking us to do for others, or did do for us what he asks us to do for others. Brothers and sisters, we are weak, we're fearful, we don't have the love that we need. Let us pray to the Blessed Virgin Mary, who is the Queen of Martyrs, the Mother of our Savior, and the Mediatrix of all graces, to obtain for us an increase in fervor, an increase in faith, and above all, an increase in charity, in the hope founded in the truth of Christ, that we too will be with our Lord in heaven forever if we just remain faithful to the end. Praise be Jesus and Mary.